We're going to check our switch type mode. Right now, our switch type is set to zero, which is normally open. We need to go ahead and change that to normally closed, as this is what type of switches we are using. Next, we need to disable A, Y, Z, and X switches. All right, for our min switch, we're going to enable it on at the x-axis because that's what we're going to test first. If you're wondering about B and C, they don't support switches, so that's why we didn't have to disable those. It is imperative that you have everything disabled but the x-min switch to move forward in this tutorial. Now that you have all switch types set to disabled with the exception of your x-min switch, which is set to home or one, we're ready to go ahead and test this out. So I've went ahead and set up my X switch on my shape Oko to X min and min is this way, max is that way. So we should be able to go ahead and give it a G28.2 X0. So I'm going to move this back just a little bit to show full range of movement. Okay, so that was a successful homing of the x-axis. That is exactly what you want to see. If you're not seeing that, we need to go ahead and troubleshoot further. Now that we've got our x-axis homed correctly using the x-min switch, we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the Y min switch. So first off, we need to go ahead and set YSN equals 1 on the tiny g. This is going to enable our switch for homing operations, our min switch for the Y axis. So after that is done, it, all you have to do is hook up the Y limit switch, or homing switch in this operation, to the correct pair. You'll skip one pair, which is the Y max, and you'll jump down to the Y min. So make sure these are right. If these aren't right, everything will fail, and it will not be fun. Now that we've verified that the Y switch is wired correctly on Tiny G, we've enabled it in the firmware YSN equals 1, we can go ahead and try to home. So we're going to give it a G28.2Y0. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go ahead and do that again. It was actually depressing on the Y switch and the back off fired before it actually did its homework operation. Now that the Y switch is not depressed, we're gonna go ahead and just do this one more time to demonstrate it fully. Great, all right, now let's get a little bit more advanced. Um, excuse the wires, this is just for video operations here. We would never <laughs> run an actual machine like this. So we're going to go ahead and do G28.2X0, Y0. Now, if everything is correct, we should be able to home the x-axis and the y-axis in one single operation now that we've verified the switches are wired correctly and that they're enabled correctly in the tiny g. Let's go ahead and try that. Great. All right, so your X has been homed and your Y axis has been homed. Now, if you notice that the Y moved a little bit more after this limit switch was hit, that is because the zero back off on Y is set to a higher value. If you wanted to back off more after the switch has been depressed, you can go ahead and adjust your zero back off.